The following is a presentation of TFNN. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Every trading day, live at 10 a.m. Eastern. Call now, toll free at 877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Good morning, everybody. Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida. Tom's going to join us after the first break. We've got kind of a slow start to Thursday trading. Markets kind of oscillating around flat. We get the Dow up 29 points, or about one-tenth percent, trading at 25,568. You have S&Ps up almost three points, one-tenth percent as well in the green, trading at 2828. You get the NASDAQ negative by nine points, or down about one-tenth percent, trading at 7566. And the Russell, basically flat, negative one point, or 0.06%, 1505. And we'll start things off as I did in the update. Checking out the VIX this morning, 1626, quite a two days that we had in the market in terms of Tuesday and Wednesday to the upside. Jumping over to the futures charts real quick, we'll pull this back, looking at the S&P. This is the shorter time frame, we're backing up. There is yesterday's action, and then there is Tuesday's action. Just backing that up, we were sitting at... That's about 3 in the morning on Tuesday, 2749. You're talking about 80 S&P points above that level right now. Quite a run. Dow 30, currently trading 25,577. We've got the NASDAQ trading a bit off the highs that we had, basically pre-market, all the indices a little bit higher, 72.60 being the high, NASDAQ 100, 72.23. As I say that, though, look at that Dow getting a little bit of a pop. And crude oil, a little bit of a pop as well, climbing for $52. Gold contract, been holding steady, quite a run for gold as well. We reached a high early yesterday of 13.48 pulled back to a low of about 1331 right in the middle of that range for gold trading at 1340 and euro us dollar you have the ecb coming out you have leaving rates you have draghi with a press conference so a little bit of volatility in terms of what he's been talking about over there euro trading 11263 in terms of what else you have happening, covered in the update as well, but trade deficit, U.S. trade deficit falling in April just before the increase in tensions with China. So that number, U.S. global trade deficit falling to $50.8 billion in April, pretty much in line with expectations. The shortfall with China increasing $2.1 billion to $29.4 billion. So what I pulled out, I pulled out some stories that are going around this uh, this Thursday morning. Going to jump through some of the stories I found interesting. Auto loans hitting a record high, sending borrowers with the best credit to the used market. So I don't know what you might be able to deduce from what is going on, but it's interesting nonetheless. So the average amount borrowed to buy a new vehicle hit a record $32,100. That's a pretty staggering average for new vehicles. The average used vehicle loan hitting a record $20,137. Now where it gets interesting here is that, uh, we'll get down to it. So the average monthly payment for a new vehicle, $554. That is a lot of money for a loan on a car for the average. Uh, and a record $391 for used vehicles. Interestingly here, experience, this is all coming from the credit reporting agencies, 61.8% of those with a prime credit rating and 44.7% 44 of those with super prime took out loans to buy used vehicles in the first quarter. Those are the highest percentages Experian has ever recorded for prime and super prime buying used vehicles. So in one essence, you have the highest recording price for new vehicles. And in the second step, you have the people with the best credit not buying used ve um, new vehicles and buying used vehicles. So then who's buying the new vehicles? Is it the people with less credit that are spending more money on those new vehicles? Pretty interesting. Uh, keeping on the, the car, we're going to get over here. Keeping on the car theme, automakers talking about worrying, of course, with the Mexican tariffs. Again, pretty interesting uh, statistic as you dig into what we have going on here. So it's far from clear, and of course the article states in terms of what really is going to happen. The levies could rise to 25%, but breaking down, of course, you saw the car companies get hit hard when that first story came out with the 5% tariff on all Mexican goods, Mexican goods. 
So nearly $100 billion in Mexican automotive goods, including $93 billion in vehicles, more than $6 billion in parts, flowed into the U.S. last year. GM, the largest importer of Mexican-made vehicles, with almost two-thirds of a million vehicles in terms of 666,000 last year, along with parts such as wiring harnesses, a variety, I'm sure. So, of course, you're going to have the suppliers this is talking about, and uh, it breaks down, you know, more in depth, but pretty remarkable. GM alone, almost 700,000 cars that they're pulling in from Mexico in a single year. Jumping around as well, we'll pull this up. Staying on the theme of tariffs, why not? Apple could lose nearly... A third of its value if China makes this trade war move. Now, this, of course, speculation. We'll see where this is coming from. So Strategic Wealth Partners President Mark Tepper says investors should keep the trade threat top of mind, especially worst-case scenarios. I would agree. You have to keep all scenarios on mind, right? And um, there is a probability that is greater than zero that things really get ratcheted up. And Apple could be one of them that really gets hit. Um, pretty staggering when you think about a third of the value, though, as this breaks down. Long term, we still like it. They're doing well transitioning over to more of the service-based model. They have their worldwide developer conference early this week, talking about some of that. Deal with QCOM ensures that they're going to have that 5G phone. So they have some potential, but uh, he goes into that uh, I think it's still a very difficult situation, and the situation really reminds me of where it was at the end of November last year. 20% pullback, undercut the 200-day moving average, so something to keep your eye on if that thing really gets ratcheted up. And we're going to stay on Apple. We're jumping all over the place in terms of... But on the good side, Apple reportedly looking to buy robo-taxi startup Drive.ai. So lots of speculation in there about Apple getting into the self-driving vehicle, whether they're developing in themselves. There have been stories that they had thought about buying Tesla even as far back as 2014, 2016. Um, nonetheless, Drive AI, a self-driving shuttle service, has raised $77 million and valued at $200 million two years ago. And in January, Apple dismissed more than 200 employees from its autonomous vehicle group. So they scaled that back, but there's still speculation they might be going after some other players in the market to build themselves a, uh, a presence in that AI self-driving vehicles. Morgan Stanley, given AMD an upgrade, being cautious has obviously been the wrong call. So AMD, quite an acceleration recently. Let's jump over to their chart in a moment as we pull this up. There's your AMD chart. Quite a pop this morning on the heels of uh, that upgrade, of course. So up about 4%. That's a five-minute chart, putting this on a daily, going back a year. I mean, quite a charge from those December lows. You're sitting at about 16, almost 100% rise. We're coming back into that high we had in September. AMD quite a run, and today up almost 4% on that news, jumping back to what they actually said. We'll get there. So AMD keeps delivering positive proof points, according to Morgan Stanley, which says its cautious forecast was the wrong call. So they upgraded to equal weight from underweight and raised the price target to 28 from 17, and we just looked at it, straightened about $30.50. But nonetheless, um, the bank said AMD has consistently performed well among its competitors, Intel and NVIDIA. AMD shares up on that news this morning. Stay tuned, folks. Coming back after the break with Tom. We got natural gas inventories coming up at 1030. And uh, to see where we are on the market right now, you got Dow up about 30, S&P is positive by two, NASDAQ negative by 13. We'll be right back. The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. The Taz Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of Taz Market Profile, the Taz Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. 
Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the TAS Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at TAS has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the TAS Order page at TFNN.com. Sign up now for only $97 a month with a risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the TAS Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien have just announced a special webinar on June 19th for all subscribers to the TAS Profile Scanner. Steve and Tom will break down the trade matrix, market breadth, heat grid, as well as the three-step process you can use with the TAS Profile Scanner to identify market movers and how to capitalize on that move. For all the details and to get started with the TAS Profile Scanner today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. With a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. Go sign up today. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. We have the uh, Dow Industrials uh, up 19, NASDAQ down 15, S&Ps are flat. Uh, gold, gold up uh, 840. You get the silver up for 14 cents. Both gold and silver, yesterday, they go topside. Yep. Have volume, but give it up in price. Okay. You, know, you pull back. Uh, we're right back topside, folks. And yeah. You get volume behind the move still, which is great. Uh, oil, no action. Up 21 cents, 51 dollars 88 cents. Notes and bonds, the 10 year up four ticks, 30 year up 23, and King Dollar. King Dollar back down at 286, 96, 970. Euro's at 112, yen's at 108. And, uh, you know, we'll see where this shakes out. My, my take, folks, is that what we have just done here is that set, we've set up the B to C, the C point of an ABC structure on the way down. We'll see if it lasts another day. Um, but I suspect, you know, I was looking at it for 285. And we're two, we got to 283.69. We'll see how this, you know, we got a contraction of volume yesterday. Yesterday you did 71 million in the, in the SPY. Yesterday, the day before, 77. You're going into 70 as well as 127. And all the indices, uh, ETF structures, as well as the indices are kind of set up the same way. Um, NASDAQ uh, is still the weak dog. And the, when the NDX 100 and... The composite itself is the weak dog that can drag that S and P down. It yeah. Drags all its friends down, you know. Yeah. Um, gold. We take a look at that gold contract for a second, and what you're going to see out here, it caught a great bid yesterday. It gave it up on price. You know, look at that volume, 413,000. But yet we hit a high of 1348 and then closed at 1333. Yeah. That's a give up, man. <laughs> oh, that's quite a pullback. But guess what? You're going right back topside and you get volume behind the move again. This this gold contract wants up there at 1361. Now, just the opposite was the dollar index. The dollar went to a low, had volume at the low, and today we're going to have monster volume. You know, we had 25,000 contracts yesterday. Today we already have 20,000 contracts. Okay. So this thing wants lower price. I know Draghi had a press conference this morning, right? I'm sure yes. that's adding a little bit of volatility it, it, it action. Did. It did. In, yeah, uh, watch this. Look at that. Yeah. That's, there, there's. 7.30, right? Back it up a little even. Yeah. The first bar of the. Right there. 
Oh, okay. It was at 7.50. You're looking for the eight, low, yeah. Eight I'm just looking at the big volume bar, 7.40. Yeah. That's really when you can see. Uh, yep, and then bang, yeah. all the way down. Now, what we have out here, too, folks, that low of today has a high volume bar. So your probability is that that's where it wants to go, and you can see we were down there yesterday, too. So you get a lot of action out here. There's, there's no doubt. Um, so we have natural gas coming up. Oh, good. Let's that oil, oil got smoked yesterday. Oh, it right? sure did, yeah. man. It sure did. Um, we'll close out these real quick. Jump over here. Um, yeah, let's take a look at just that oil, what it did yesterday real quick, because it really did, man. Backing up. So there's your action yesterday, right? We yeah. went from 52.75. we were looking at that. Right. And by noon, you were trading at $50.63. Pretty remarkable. It is. Um, and we're kind of right in the middle of that range right now. We'll see where we uh, end up. All right, natural gas, so what time? 10.22 right now, we get the inventory numbers at 10.30. We got natural gas, we're trading the July contract, we're trading at 2.38, quite a number, right? Plenty of natural gas. Cheap natural gas, I know, I haven't pulled it up in uh, this week, um, but even since, what is that, Tuesday we're at 2.44, even this morning, check out that bounce. Even at 9.30, we were down at 2.35, we just traded up three pennies um, ahead of that news. So let's see, we're trading at 2.38 right now, if we jump over to, let's start off with the 11 AMs. So we're going to have 235 as a possible price point. Okay. Now the only now bummer is it you yeah. get you know if Three you're if away. you're bullish that's great you know let's let's just look at it you know if you want to make a short term bullish trade, you want a little bit defined risk. You cap your losses at 235, which is right here on the chart, and you can get in here. You're risking 35. You're capped out at your profits at 255, and really, for that type of risk reward, you're really getting in at 238.6 instead of 238.2. Not bad. No, no, right, right. You know, to have a little bit of defined risk because guess what? We were just there. If we get a bad number, you could see natural gas go below 235, oh, yeah. right? Um, so let's see where the noons line up. It's not like it's cold out. <laughs> yes. So uh, noons are going to have the same exact price point, 235. And again, instead of uh, 238.6, it's 238.7. Now that you know, they add a, one tick on there. Basically, if you want exposure till noon, now the dailies are going to give us 240, which is going to be a little bit closer. And this time, this would be kind of ideally, uh, and maybe we'll get to 240 by the time that we set this up. Um, yeah, you're going to have value to the pumping right that's now. A, yeah, we're only about a penny away. Um, and look at that as it moves. So. This one, you're going to have the intrinsic value to the downside, right? But you could set it up because it's only about one penny now away from where this would have a price point. So this would be your bearish trade from 240 down to 290. You'd be selling that. You're going to have about 12 ticks of intrinsic value, and they're adding about 12 onto premium. And on the bullish side, from 240 up to 290, you're looking at a similar level of premium. And look at this. We're this going is up pretty there. cool, folks. Because right? you still have five minutes to put this trade up. Well, actually, you wouldn't have five because they'll they'll pull those numbers like a minute oh, before, right? I don't think it's a minute. Um, a it's probably minutes. 10 you don't know. No, 10 seconds. Ten, okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So look, look at this. We're yeah. at two, what, three? 239.1. 239 one. Yeah. Right. So that's basically nine ticks away. Um, you know, it's pretty close in terms of, again, there's your bullish one. There's your bearish one. You're looking at about $35. So you need 3.5 pennies, and you got about a penny head start to the downside. Right. So we'll see what we get. Let me pull that baby up. Go so you got NG, and we're going to be on July, I believe. July. Is the... okay. It's June. NG. Let's see. Maybe N U. N G U. No, nope, that's September. N. N. There we go. There we go. Okay, so, oh man. <laughs> yeah, that's what wow, we, I haven't looked at it since shot. last week. I have indeed, and, the man. And 238, I knew right away, because I think we are at okay. 258 last week. Um, NG1, I gotta do a continuous. This, this thing's such a mess, folks. You get, it's like, there's nothing to basically go against. Really remarkable, considering wow. that, that, I was just gonna say, really remarkable, considering that, you know, Under pop we got when yeah. you, had, you had, you know, funds going out of business, right? I mean, yeah. one of them even in Tampa, I think. Um, right. Look at that, man. I mean, this is saying that you get game down to two bucks. So anything I don't believe it. It's right at and anything under really two fifty three is that you're in another zone, man. And like two twenty seven is wide open. Let's we're in see. that zone. You were in that zone, man. Yeah. So 
So the pop that we just got, though, is a little buy. There's no yeah. doubt. But then you're going into, yeah, I'm going to go for the downtown. You, what you're doing, that pop that we just got, you're really just going into the downdraft from yesterday, wherever that seller was. Okay. That was coming sure. into the close because that's 220. I believe natural gas closes at 230, uh, the pit. Um, so you're going into that. It's trying to get some momentum, but... You know, you can see that. Good that luck. Was, yeah, exactly. <laughs> in that market, that. man. You know, that's, that is intense, man. It so, sure is. Natural gas. Yeah. You know, with all the shale that we have, uh, the, there's no doubt that uh, bottom line is that a lot of natural gas. Because uh, yeah. every time that you're pumping oil, folks, uh, the problem for these oil companies is that there's so much gas that gets blown out uh, as long as wells. So we can't enter. I think it's 10 minutes, maybe 8 minutes, maybe 5 minutes. Um, but they're looking for somewhere around a build of about 110. Okay. So we'll get that when we get back. Yeah. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Adao Industrials right now trading down, trading up one NASDAQ, down 19. S&P's down one and a half. Folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's down 16. Nasdaq's off 24. S&P's off 3.5. Oh, look at that number. There's a number. Pretty close. We're going to build. 119. Yeah. The market was looking for about 109, as we said. A little bit more supply. That should mean lower prices. Jumping back. Oh, lower prices. Look at that. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, 
So the one trade that's set up for the bearish, right, was your 240. The other ones are really setting up as bullish. Like we said, though, if you're bullish, hey, you're already capped out at a loss that the market is below. Huge. Isn't that, I mean, you know, it's if you're making a now. trade, right? You, you know, yeah, you were risking 3.6 pennies, all right? right. But that's all you were risking, and it's right. already down four pennies. Right. In the span of, it says a minute, it was probably six seconds. Right. Five, you know, no, um, totally. Totally. Yeah, so we'll see and check back. And, you know, you, you, we were talking about you're in a whole other zone there, folks, which is really a problem because it's like no man's land. Uh, and it's like who wants to come out there first and try to get it out of that zone, right? You know yeah, what I mean? and I just say, you know, just like you're saying, that there hasn't, I mean, you know, this is good the, luck being bullish. Yeah, now this is a delayed quote that we're looking yes, at. Yes, it folks. is. Okay. I, just, yeah. I mean, I'm no. just going back right from March. I, I mean, know. you were $3. And yeah, there's been you know bounces, and the bounces have been substantial in terms of from 253 up to 273. Yeah, it's 20 cents, but it's just a bounce in the downtrend, man. And this has been quite an acceleration. And guess what? As you said, that 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 chart is about to drop yeah. <laughs> when it catches up right. to uh, the reality of where we at. And it's not. This is going to be. Uh, it's not slowing down, man. We're down five pennies in neat. a heartbeat. Um, man, that 240 trade would have been a nice bearish trade in terms of you were able to sell that one. Yeah. Right. And um, 61 bucks if you've just gone uh, on the bearish side. But hey. It's a big number. It is. And if we go just go That's back. That's a decent five minute bar. It is. And, yeah, I'm just going <laughs> to watch. Because when you take a look at this, you're going to see okay, so the low of today was uh, 235, and we're at 234, right? So 233 and change okay, as good. of so probably 232 now. Uh, no, it's, it's, it's taking it, that, yeah, it's taking right. that out, and then if I go back to the uh, NG, we go back to the continuous, what you're going to see here is that, you know, when we got under, that's 254, that's 243. You're under that. It's like, it's, it's a problem child, man. Yeah, I mean, for sure. this is... Uh, yeah. It's almost, this is, the thing that's intriguing here, folks, is that we are only at the beginning of the summer, right? You know? Yes. So there's not going to be people using natural gas, you know, for a long period of time here. Um, so 227 is game next. You hit two, you know, you get, that's where we were topside in, uh, what, uh, June of uh, 2016. Oh, my God. Yeah, and time is just a trip. What's well, interesting, and it goes both ways. I was just looking. All right, where, where in June, you know, seasonal type stuff. Yeah. You know, what does this chart do on those seasons, right? Well, you back it up here. There's June. We actually traded a lot higher in the coming months, right? Yeah. You back it up here. We went flat. Back it up here. We went higher again. Back it up here. Oh, we went lower. Right. Back it up here. We went lower. You know, year by year. So it's, it, it varies. It does. I'd say. You know, no, in terms that, of the driving season um, or the summer season. That, there, um, that's, that's why you don't want to trade natural gas, folks. It's a cycle. The, you know, the, there is no doubt that, I mean, remember in the middle of the winter, it was freezing beyond belief, folks, okay? And the bottom line is you think that, okay, it's freezing. They got a do downdraft, um, you know, but they didn't, they, we used a lot of natural gas, but not enough, and they still drove it down. Sure. And then in the summer, just the opposite. So it's, yeah. like, it's like, guess what? It's, yeah. you know, it's not a vehicle that, um, you know, and I've traded it. I've traded it plenty of times. Sure. Now, that's going back five, six, seven years, but. Yeah. Uh, so I, we're sitting there. We'll see what happens, man. Yeah. 233, cheap natural gas. Taken apart. Yeah, no doubt. Um, Beyond Meat. So let's go look at Beyond, Beyond Meat's going to be coming out with uh, the numbers this afternoon, folks, okay? And. Um, this is going to be, now this is the first time as a public company that they're coming out. They're down 3% ahead of that. Does somebody know yeah. something? What's going Look on? Look at this. They almost got a $6 billion market cap. And my understanding is that they're looking to take in $200 million just for the year. Not, yes, <laughs> $200 million for the year. So they're looking for $38 million. Yeah, the, the, the price is heavily predicated on... Uh, a little distant in the future, right? Oh, yeah. Not, uh, oh, there's, there's no doubt. But there's man, no look doubt. at that. Hey, so let's gonna let's see what time that comes out. Uh, if they so just they're, they're saying right now, just after market. Okay. Now another equity that is getting absolutely smoked is at home today. This is cut in half. Uh, at home group down eight dollars, trading nine dollars and forty four cents. Uh, this is a retailer. And you pulled uh, it up. They just went public. They last own year. operate home dec decor stores. I don't. I haven't seen I'm any not in familiar, Florida. And I I'm might be either. familiar with yeah. them. Just not. I mean, I might. You know, we might pass one. You know, right. one of those where it's like you don't even realize no, it's one yeah. of these um, at home group. Yeah. They um, they went now. You, here, let me show you something here because this is yeah, always right. dangerous when I see this. These guys knew 
and they're really smart. I mean, they've taken a lot of cash, but unfortunately, they take a lot of people to the cleaners. So March of 20, March 27th, they went public. Sold 6.9 million shares, got 30 bucks a piece. Nice cash, right? Yep, 210 million almost. Yeah, Watch 200 million. Watch this, though. June 11th, they do a secondary. Sold 8 million shares at $37. Sure. September 7th, they do the third. 10 million shares at 33. Yeah. And, you know, what, what does happen here is this, is that when that happens, I, I don't have their balance sheet in front of me, but when, when I've seen that happen, sometimes what does happen is that they can stay alive for longer periods of time as long as they don't waste all that cash. Sure. You know, if they have the cash in there. I mean, even as a consumer, the time to access credit is yeah. when you don't need it. Totally. You know, don't, they're, they're not going to go be able to push out money in the market right nope. now. And in a little bit of defense to them and the headlines, man, a lot has changed since March of 18 in terms of tariffs, China. They're in home goods. Can retail. you imagine if they, uh, not even retail, I'm yeah. talking about home, home goods, goods yeah, right. coming from China. Um, probably not the time to go public with a home goods company where you're getting all your merchandise from China. Yep. So they might not have been swindling everybody when they go public, and then they have to. Yeah, just got to put that. You know, there, I mean, there's, there's to, no to, doubt. To come there's on, no doubt. you know, it's like. Um, so Signet, let's see what Signet. And we can go into their earnings afterwards because yeah. there's they're a staggering miss in terms of earnings, in terms of everything, right? Signet Jewelers, did they come out too? Um, so yeah. Signet. 52-week low. Oh, yeah, they had them this morning. Oh, okay. That's a, yeah. Okay. Well, we're gonna make a look at 52-week low. So this is K's Jewelers, and they think Zales. This is like almost everything. I think Signet actually ended up taking over everything. Let's see. Signet Company through its subsidiaries, retails, watches. We'll have to look it up. I'm not sure. Yeah. We might be thinking of a different one because this. No, you know what? We're, I only know we're thinking of a different one because this is only a 960 million dollar company. There's no way that. Uh, I think all those companies combined aren't worth more than a billion, right? Zales, I know the one, there's one company out there that owns them all. Yeah. Jared. Let's see. Okay, so, uh, well, sales-wise, let's see. So Comp was down 1.3. They were yeah. looking only for a decline of 0.8. Looks like, oh, if you scroll up, they had earnings. Oh, up no, there. this is. This is the company. Here's Zales, here's Kays, oh, you're here's right. Jared's. Now, see, that's staggering. They're yeah. not even worth $1 billion. Right. And I agree that I they know. basically control right. every single, right. um, well, you right. see it. I mean, name one right. other massive mall, but guess right. what? Maybe that's the, the mall so, deal, right? We all know them in the malls. Yeah. Well, so here it is Jared Sales, Comp Sales. Does that say down 7%? Versus? No, no. It's down 2 versus yeah. minus 7.8 year on year. Okay. But the estimate was minus 2.8. They're all lower. Uh, pretty heavy, man. Well, does it Zales? Uh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. I'm right back, folks. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. 
Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow just is up 44. We get the Nasdaq down 6. S&P's up 2.5. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Jack Gleason, as we do each and every Thursday at 40 past the hour. You can uh, check out Jack every trading day at MajorLeagueTrading.com. Uh, bottom line, great website. Uh, each and every time you pick it up, Jack will be in a different place around the world, <laughs> growling and prowling out here like the tiger he is. Yeah. Jack Gleason, what's going on, brother? Hey, howdy there, partner. What's uh, going on down in sunny Florida? Oh, We're just uh, the heat is on, baby. <laughs> we, the, we got it got heat. up to 81 here yesterday. I was a little, I was pretty happy about that. I bet you were happy about it. 81 in Chicago, that's a beautiful thing, man. <laughs> that, that is a beautiful thing. Oh man, what a move we've had here, guys. Um, couple of things I want to point out, some of the major levels we came into, because it's looking like it might be more of a serious bottom. You know me and my halfway packs. Uh, so NASDAQ, you guys go to that chart, the halfway back for the year is right about what we held. Um, and, uh, you know, that's from the low, which was, I think it was the 7th. The low of the year was the, it looks like, this, yeah, the 7th of January to that high. Uh, that level was 7,004 which is right about the daily close on the 4th of June and then right where we opened the other day when that rally began. So larger picture profit targets, um, you know, if this ends up being a low and we go up towards those all-time highs, uh, the negative 22% projection there is going to be 82.82. So I'm, gonna, I'm looking to continue to trade from the long side here in the uh, indexes. A little choppy this morning. Um, if we do get a pullback today in the S&P 500, 28.13 is my first major support, and then 28.06 below. But I also think oil's possibly made a bottom here. Have you guys uh, been paying close attention to that widowmaker? I mean, that thing's a new <laughs> net gas. Uh, yeah, my take, Jack, is that we're going to 44 in oil. But I'm going I'm, I'm to also send. I'm going to send you some salmon. I'm going to get some <laughs> salmon in the mail today. They get the. <laughs> They got salmon down in Tampa Bay. Well, we got it up in Alaska. We're gonna send. We're gonna send it from a couple of our tigers up in Alaska. So we'll turn you into a bear. <laughs> there we. Go. Ah, okay. I was lost, man. You gotta bring us with you. <laughs> turn, turn you into a bear. Yeah, totally. totally. You, need little, uh, you need a little change of pace, man. There you go. I, I'd like to. If we are gonna go lower, I really. Li I'd like to see us get at back up to the uh, fifty-three sixty-six level in oil, um, and then kind of fail from there so ideally i think you know we can go lower there's no doubt about that but just the way we kind of hammered off that 50 60 zone yesterday 
I think we got to trade back to the top of the range we broke down and out of, and that's for me, that's around 5360. So 5360 and 5462. But hey, you nice. know, I'm a day, I'm a day trader. I'm changing my opinion every every 15. Oh no, no, listen, man, we love it. It's awesome, man. There's no doubt. There's no doubt about that. Dude. You know, it's uh, intriguing when you get a chance. If you take up that oil shot and then take out the S and P with it, look at it the last three years because it seems like oil's about a week ahead of the S and P, and it's been trading with it for quite some time, which is. You know, it, all these things work and then they don't work, folks. Okay, but that's you know that's a heads up, man. Um, it really is. So it's and that's training. You got to be. I mean, the market's constantly changing. If you're not changing with it, you're gonna get left in the dust, guys. You know, it's you know the biggest thing about trading to me is always risk management. Um, you right. know, and I think you got to stay in the game long enough for the bigger moves. I mean, that oil that oil moved down. Uh, man, last time we talked, that's when the move really began. As soon as we took out those lows, see, we were trading 58s last Thursday, right? Yeah. Um, and then you had the biggest inventory draw, and I think I read 30 years. Do you guys see that? I did. It's like the, yeah. it was crazy. It, it went back to the 90s, man. Yeah. It was like, okay, this that's. that's I wasn't even born yet. I know, man. No, I'm <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna love it. Man. Totally, totally. <laughs> So, oh, hey, yeah. how do you like that moving gold? Oh, yeah, that moving gold is fantastic. I, I, it, I wasn't last Thursday. It's funny because last Thursday I was long it going in. I think I was long it when we were talking. Um, I mean, I obviously exited early. And then I've, I've continued to trade it here on the way up. But this could be the breakout that we've all been looking for. Oh, for the last don't get them all excited, Jack. All right. No. Yeah, no, <laughs> you know, it's, it's going to be amazing, folks, watching this. Because the, the reality is, is move, that, yeah. you know, it's, it's a good move. There's yeah. no doubt. Um, you know, when you take a look at this chart, guess what? You know, we've been in this area for three years. Yeah. And you're, you're talking about a long period of time. Definitely. And... We'll either make it or break it. We get up to that 1377, and right now, you know, you're at 1333. I know. Um, I was going to say three years, really. I see, like, 2013, man, like six that's years. That's right. Six years. Yeah. Six years. Ah, uh, it's amazing. Right. I mean, I remember that move on the, on the way up oh, yeah. and how bullish everybody got. But really, right now, if you guys can continue to watch, if we can stay above this 1329 level here in gold, um, which would be a pullback below today's low, uh, that to me, 1329 is a really significant Fibonacci zone okay. that, that would continue this very aggressive bid uh, that we've had since last week. It's a, it's, this marks a week, right? It started last Thursday, right? Yeah. So, um, I mean, and what what a move it's been. So we went from what 1280s all the way up to so you know over 50 points to the high, and that high of the year came into it yesterday. That 1349. I mean, if we start clearing that, then it's, you know, those previous highs of the year are going to be the resistances above. But to me, it's the, the speed of the move here. And then also you kind of have really a truly fundamental argument um, that could push it higher with the Fed basically continuing to say, we will print money yeah. as fast as you want. Now, I need to know one of those guys because I love a money press. <laughs> That's so true, man. That's so true. And, you know, the bond, and all you have to do, folks, is, is, is look at the bond market. You know, the bond market basically is, is pushing the Fed. The bond market is saying, hey, rates are going lower every single day, you know, and that's a big move. Um, so we'll see how the rest of it shakes, shakes out. Uh, dollar, dollar, you know, we'll see where the dollar basically fails. This is the third, fourth day in a row now we get uh, lower prices in the dollar with volume. So, um, so there's some good moving parts out here. No doubt. I haven't looked at the, I haven't, you know, I haven't really been paying much attention to the dollar. I know it's so correlated with gold, but I, I just... I, I trade I trade what I look at. If I don't look at it, I don't typically that's don't right. no, no, that's, trade. That's where but, it's at. Uh, that's where it's at. Listen, yeah. folks, you can you can check Jack out every trading day at MajorLeagueTrading.com. So hey, uh, so how long are you gonna be in Chicago? Where are you going next? Uh, I'm going to Putacana next week. So there we I go. go. See that? Yeah. <laughs> so I I might have to. I, you know what I'll do is I'll pick up from my phone again and I'll That'd I can be face. Awesome. Is there. <laughs> We've been to Punta Cana. Beautiful, man. Yeah. Enjoy it. Yeah. My sister's actually getting married, so this is, you ah, know, it's oh, perfect. That's yeah. good. That's, yeah. They got the all-inclusive resort. It's a great place for weddings. And you know, and all that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know what's really cool, too, uh, folks, is that, like, 
we, I've gone there a couple times, and I've gone there in the summer, and I thought it was going to be hotter than Florida, and it's actually cooler than Florida, which is well, a mind blower. What is hotter than Florida? Well, where where are you, about? I mean, where are we, we going, we're man? Going, we're going further south. 98 degrees and humid in yeah, Florida. Yeah, going further, <laughs> no, further I, south. No, I know, I can't. You know? I, I agree. And it's beautiful. How do, you, how, do you, how do you guys keep your hair looking so good when, with, the, with the weather down there? Technology, Jack, that <laughs> NASDAQ 100 technology. No. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Beautiful air conditioning. <laughs> Thank God, it's the, man. It's the Einstein oh, look, that man. AC, the AC repair. Man, they, they never get uh, yeah. You look like genius. <laughs> uh, Jack, you have a great one, safe one. Always a pleasure, man. Have a, a great week. We look forward to speaking to you next week, man. Hey, take care, guys. Have a good one. Thanks, Jack. Thank take care, man. Remember, folks, you can uh, check out Jack every trading day, majorleaguetrading.com. Dow Industrials up 69, Nasdaq flat, SP's up four and a half. Tommy and I come right back. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as a number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best in what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. It's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002, when gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the Gold Report currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your Gold Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't let gold's next big run pass you by. Sign up today. Basil Chapman has a special subscriber webinar coming up Wednesday, June 12th at 5 p.m. called The Tide. In this webinar, Basil will be demonstrating techniques that can help one identify whether the tide is coming in or going out. That is, whether a trend is bullish or bearish in a variety of time frames. And Basil will be speaking specifically to indices, currencies, commodities, interest rates, and key stocks. The technical tools that Basil will be discussing are available on almost all software packages that will be shown in historical context as well as live for current market setups. Identifying the key trend allows one to trade with the tide rather than against it. Subscribers also gain immediate access to three archived workshops so you can get started right away when you sign up. For all the details on the opening call and Basil's upcoming subscriber webinar, The Tide, this coming Wednesday, visit the front page of TFNN.com and sign up today. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up uh, 69. NASDAQ is flat. S&P's up four. And we're going to have our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, coming up. He's going to be riding that wave, riding that tide, right? That's right, man. Six days from right now. Wednesday night, June 12th. Amazing. June 12th. Coming out of six days away. Uh, Basil will be in there. Subscribers to the opening call. 90-minute webinar from 5 until 6.30. Live webinar with all subscribers to the opening call. I encourage people, come on over to TFNN. Hit that link. You can sign up. You'll get immediate access. Basil's got three archive webinars in there 
anything goes, the stock market's key phase. He did a couple months ago. He's got a couple others. What's next for the market? And then one of the tools that helped identify the market's last top, all of those 90-minute webinars. You're talking about, what is that, four and a half hours of webinars right there. Great you education. got some time over the weekend. Check them out. Sign up. And then Wednesday night, he'll be in there for 90 minutes talking about the tide in terms of coming in, going out, whether the trend is bullish, bearish, and he looks at it in a variety of time frames, and he's going to break it down, whether it's indices, currencies, commodities, interest rates, key stocks. Uh, so check that out. Get started. Sign up right now. You can be watching those archive webinars over the weekend and ready for Wednesday night. You're going to love it. Totally. And, you know, bottom line is that you got uh, you got to trade his market out here, folks. Uh, Getting a little uh, bit know. of a pop as we come into yeah. the end of this hour. And you know what? Not to jump, let's check natural gas as we finish up. All right, so the, the first thrust was the big one. We're yeah. sitting 233.5. We'll see where that goes. But quite a, quite a trade uh, on that 119 build. And market-wise out here, I expect you're going to basically just move around right where we've been uh, out here today. Uh, you don't have a monster catalyst for the buys out here, nor the sells. Yep. You know, we're going to come into uh, Thursday, you know, I mean Friday, uh, jobs number, and then guess what? Yeah. Next week. We'll see after that ADP payroll. It was only a small one. This will be a big number tomorrow. No doubt. Yeah. Stay right there, folks. We've got Fast Market coming up next. And we got our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, Steve Rhodes, Dave White. I'll be back this afternoon. Thanks, Bill. Thanks, man. Yeah, look at him, folks.